Yo, what's going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here, bringing you guys a news video for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire E3 is here. Nintendo is giving us some news. We have the new trailer you guys just saw, and I'm replaying it here in slower motion. You see the ancient devolution in the process right now in uh, some, you know, different, you know, it's not the actual gameplay, or, you know, if it is, that would be crazy. But it's just a little sneak preview showing you guys that is going to be Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, something that we found out that they were prehistoric Pokemon, and uh, that was the Japanese name, and, you know, it's bound to change, and they were changed to... Primal Kyogre, Primal Groudon, and we're gonna have a lot more news probably coming from uh, E3. I don't know how much, maybe a little more, maybe a lot more. Maybe we'll learn uh, the release date, something like that, of this game. But as of right now, we know that we will have Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Those will be their um, mega equivalents. And here you see this uh, trainer dude flying in on the Latios into Hone, which, by the way, that looks really cool. And I'm showing us a little bit faster uh, pace than uh, this upcoming uh, scene will show. And yeah, I cut out the logo because that just took a long time when I put it in slow motion. But we're going to see some screenshots. We're going to see some gameplay here. Really slow motion so you guys can really see what's going on. Obviously, this is what they did for X and Y. They showed the three um, Kalo starters. And now you have, obviously, the Hoenn starters. Obviously, those are available here. It's a full remake. Nothing's going to change with the stars. It's still the main three starters. And you're going to see in a moment that we actually do have the Mega Evolutions that were leaked. And it's confirmed. You know, now Nintendo confirms it. But, you know, Core Core scans are usually really reliable. But here you see the trainer that you are playing as. And very similar to, you know, the art design that comes with the Ruby Sapphire, the original games. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's supposed to be a full remake. So it's that would make sense. And here you see the battle animations. Very similar to X and Y. You know, not that you wouldn't expect that. I don't really see many changes. You see Torchic coming out, and uh, it's kind of like, you know, when you have Heart Gold, Soul Silver, they're very similar to Platinum and Diamond Pearl and, the, you know, the style of the gameplay. But we'll see how much is different, and you'll also see, I believe, I don't know if they show it in here, but there's uh, a little bit of a different uh, GUI, a little graphic uh, interface that they have. It looks a little bit different in the game, just kind of like, you know, Platinum, they changed it up a little bit. Just like the health bar and stuff, just looks a little different. Nothing uh, crazy different, though, but this is just some uh, confirmation that... You know, we're going to change the backgrounds a little bit. You see the mountain in the background. I don't know if they did that for X and Y, but you can kind of tell it's the same exact style as X and Y, which is nothing bad. X and Y graphics I did love. And here you see one of the gym leaders, which in this case it's Roxanne. You see the similar art style that they did do in X and Y. And uh, the gym badge that they're kind of rotating it, um, I don't know if they're supposed to like color that in or whatever. And I don't know. I mean, it's not final gameplay, but maybe they're supposed to have that 3D rendering kind of look. And that's... Right there, that screenshot, that uh, gameplay that you see there, I am 99% sure that's like the route right below Rustboro City towards the top of that route. And uh, what you saw there was probably when you were with Mr. Briny, you're going down to Duford. That was Fortree City. This is probably maybe the revamped cycling road. That looks really cool. I have no idea what the heck this is. Uh, maybe someone can let me know what that is. It's, um, hmm. Trying to think, what type of gym is this? Uh, let's see. Not the, th not, uh, um, I doubt it's the first gym. I mean, it looks like rock type, but it's, I don't know. Not flying, not, uh, I doubt Tate and, oh, maybe it's Tate and Lisa. I don't know. I don't know, what makes sense for the first gym? It doesn't make sense for many of these gyms. But uh, here you see Steven, this is one of the screenshots that we had before, kind of from the core core scans. And he's just talking about Mega Evolution. And he's kind of like how, um, whatever her name was the champion in X and Y, you know, she was called all into the Mega Evolution, and uh, so was the Professor Sycamore guy, and um, here you see, this is one of my, mo this is probably my favorite, out of all the screenshots, out of all the gameplay that we see, this is, you do it, you have the dude on the right going down to the Aqua Hideout, or the Magma Hideout, and the dude on the right is going up to uh, Aqua, and just look at that, just look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, that's just, Super cool, you saw some screenshots of Team Aqua, Team Magma, and they look pretty sick. Now you see the actual gameplay, to me it just looks sick. The Hoenn trainers look pretty nice too, I do like them. And you just see, nothing crazy, nothing that you wouldn't expect from a 6th gen remake. Um, you know, just as long as they don't botch it. And here you see, this is the importance here, that the Mega Evolutions, obviously the scans, were true. And Nintendo confirms that we will have the Mega Swamper, the... Mega Sceptile, and now you see a little bit of a different view when they're actually coming out there. Just Mega Evolving, and obviously Mega Blaze King, we've all seen. But look at that Swampert, though. Do you see him, like, standing up? That's just crazy. I love that shit. And then you have, of course, Sceptile, who is now the Grass Dragon Mega Evolution. Similar style to how um, the Ampharos gets the additional, um, whatchamacallit, the Dragon typing as well. And also, the Primal Groudon, I wanted to mention that. Uh, Primal Groudon is going to be ground fire typing, which is a little, um, 
I guess good and bad in a sense because then water type moves will crush him. But in the same sense, he can now wreck grass types, which we you know used to do kind of good against him in terms of uh, raw type matchups, even though it could learn some fire type moves originally. Now you get some stab bonus with that as well. And yeah, that's that pretty much. If you guys do want to see more of uh, the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire news, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for the Pokemon Fab 5. And for, oh, I just love that side view Omega Swamp. Oh, I love Mega Swamp so much. And also the fourth gen game, because I'm going to be covering all this news. Anything that is confirmed or extremely reliable information, no extreme speculation. If it's pretty much confirmed, if it's from a reliable source, then I will go ahead and cover it. And let me know what you guys think of this in the comments section below. Here you see that we will have the ancient devolution process. When they go back to their earlier forms, Primal Kyogre on the right, Primal Groudon on the left, and it looks like a different form than um, Mega Evolution. It looks just like, I don't know, it just looks different in general. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It just, it is. It's just different, you know? They just, I don't see a huge difference in the Pokemon besides, you know, they kind of, I don't know, they glow. <laughs> That's all the difference that I really see. They glow. They look a little bit different, but honestly, they don't look incredibly different. But uh, there you see, it looks like uh, one of those wallpapers that comes with, like, the trading card game. I don't know, it just has that little glossy look to it. And with that, guys, we're almost to the end of this uh, extremely slowed down, all that stuff, um, gameplay, the trailer that we got. And if you guys want to find out more about all this stuff, make sure you subscribe to the Pokemon Fab 5 and to the 4th Gen Game. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff with Meg Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, especially when it comes out. Check out the rest of the Fab 5, link down below as well. Until next time, this is the 4th Gen Gamer, and I'm out. Peace!